So a key element of Uruguayan cuisine is asado, grilled meats, much like its neighboring country Argentina. Uh, people eat a lot of uh, grilled meats here. Uh, that's why there are a lot of asado places. So when I was here, I actually went to a few. Uh, naturally, I want to share that experience with you. Uh, but before we do that, kindly hit the subscribe button and the notify button for new contents that upload weekly. Muchas gracias. Now, one of the fancier asados called Garcia can be found in Punta Caretas, which is an, a more upscale neighborhood. And here, uh, it's the uh, setup is more of a steakhouse, and it's really dead if you come at seven o'clock. As you can tell, the people in Uruguay, the locals, don't eat dinner early, so this is seven o'clock, <laughs> and there's no one in the restaurant but me. So yeah, so they definitely observe the Spaniards' way of dining. And a lot of the wine featured uh, in fine dining restaurants in Uruguay uh, are uh, what you call New World wine, especially Argentina, Chile, and also some uh, Uruguay uh, vineyards, uh, like this white wine, glass of uh, Sauvignon Blanc, uh, which is produced locally. And here they actually mix the salad or toss the salad for you. Um, and uh, there's no fancy dressing. Uh, the dressing is just uh, olive oil and vinegar. That's simple. And of course, I actually opted for some uh, french fries as well. And a grilled uh, pork chop, uh, which was done to perfection. Now, Uruguay chefs insist on maintaining the integrity of the meat and the purity of the flavors. For these specific reasons, the meat being prepared uh, for an asado are not going to be placed in heavy sauces or marinades. So that's the reason why it's very clean, uh, it's very healthy uh, because this country doesn't really like to use salt because one of its former uh, prime minister, uh, which uh, was a doctor, actually banned salt shakers on tables and the use of salt. So they're not going to use salt unless you ask them to. Now, another popular asado place uh, that I like here in Punta Caretas is called La Otra Parilla. Uh, I hope that's the right pronunciation. Uh, but the uh, place is actually very casual. And of course, the spit is going on full blast with tons of meat on top. Uh, that's, this is really uh, you know, the way to eat here uh, in uh, Uruguay. Uh, so, uh, the menu is pretty simple. I mean, there's a lot of grilled meat. And I actually started off with a salad because I think my mom would be proud of me, you know, uh, by eating some veggies. And here is, this, it's actually funny, uh, the vinegar, they actually put in a bottle that can spray on it rather than pour on it. And instead of pork, I actually opted for chicken, which was succulent uh, and grilled to perfection as well. So they really do their meat uh, well here uh, and they just season it with uh, pepper, maybe a little bit of salt, not too much, but the freshness of the meat plus the way they grill it, the char grill taste, it's amazing. And this restaurant serves the best uh, Uruguayan dessert, uh, Dus de Leche Flan. This is a very popular dessert here, and it was just so tasty. Uh, the whole meal cost me about $30. Uh, the good thing about dining in Uruguay when I was here was that uh, the government was running a promotion if you use a foreign credit card uh, to charge, you get about 20% discount. So just to get the tourists back. Another place to eat uh, that's a asado is called Al Fogon. Uh, this is actually in Old Downtown, not in the Punta Caratas area, but in the Old Downtown. And the setup here is, you know, like really a place that's been around for 30, 40, 50 years. Even the wait staff here have actually worked here uh, for a long time. And like a typical asado, there's actually one person handling all the grilling. We call him the official asado or the Perilero, I believe it's the name that handle the grilling of all the barbecue meats. Now the wait staff here uh, is really friendly, but they don't speak English, not even a word. <laughs> uh, so in my really limited, limited Spanish, I managed to order a pork chop. Uh, this was actually done really well as well. Uh, I, it's grilled to perfection uh, and it comes with uh, French fries. Uh, yep, so it's really not, you know, it's very simple, but the grill meat itself is really, really tasty. Hey guys, so um, 
dinner time and I'm actually craving for Asian food. I know. I mean, I've been here for almost a week. Um, yeah, I know. It's uh, As you get older, you really want to eat food that's actually uh, based on your roots, I guess. So, I'm craving for Asian food. Um, so, we're going to get some. The problem is, unlike Argentina, uh, where they have a lot of Asian people and about 200,000 Chinese, here, I think according to a survey, there's only about 400, yeah, versus 200,000, 400 Chinese here in Uruguay. But apparently, there is a uh, restaurant called Tian Fu. Uh, they're supposed to be really good, I heard. So I'm gonna go check it out. Uh, ready to be disappointed or not. Uh, so come go on live with me and we'll have some Chinese food. Now, Tian Fu is located in the older part of town here in Montevideo, so if you come at night, it can look pretty dead. In fact, the restaurant actually locked its door. You have to knock on it for it to open. Uh, you know, it's a long corridor that leads you down to the main dining area. Um, no one was actually here when I was here. This was, a, I believe, a Saturday night. So, yeah, uh, I was the only customers. And the menu is actually very standard, which always amazes me. Uh, wherever I go, the Chinese, the menu at Chinese restaurants are standardized there's always your kung pao chicken your sweet and sour pork uh it's mugu gai pan it's just very standard catering to the western taste <laughs> dude this place is dead but uh the owner just talked to me uh she's gonna customize a few things for me <laughs> two dishes can't wait so the owner slash chef cooked a dish of tofu with chives and uh, shredded pork for me as well as uh, garlic stir fried spinach and a bowl of white rice. I have to say, you know, after a week of asado, I mean, I like them, but I really like my vegetables and my bowl of rice and my veggies and my tofu and my tiny mushrooms. It was really good. So the cuisine in Uruguay is very meat heavy, but vegetarians worry not. There's always this salad with a bottle of vinegar for you to spritz on. Uh, but other than that, you can get great meat as well as great desserts here uh, in Uruguay. Ooh.